first pass ever on an A rig. Yes, let's go. Come on, son. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's episode is probably one of the most exciting episodes I have filmed in a long time. Catchco has sent us something special, and we're going to take it out today to go try and catch some big bass on Alabama rigs, A rigs, fishing ponds. Now, almost all of this is stuff I've never done before. We're going to talk about the rod, which I haven't fished. We're going to talk about Alabama rigs, which I don't use much. And we want to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring the whole deal. They're doing a huge sale right now where you can actually get a free $150 Guggen Squad gold rod if you sign up for a 12-month subscription over at mysterytacklebox.com. Got to check it out. They send you new baits to your door every single month. We've been a subscriber for years. It's helped us catch tons of fish and identify new techniques in fishing. And so this is an example of one of the newest boxes here. You've got a crankbait, you've got top water, a chatterbait, soft plastics, and some hooks inside of just one mystery tackle box. So this is something you can get a 12 month subscription and get a free Guggen Squad gold rod. But today we've got something Ooh, very exciting to talk about. Pre-sale should be live right now. Okay, so that is the Guggen Squad Black Series rods. I am stoked because this is something I did not even know was in the works. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Muscle XL. That's right, so the standard Guggen Squad Muscle Rod is a 7.5 Heavy, extra fast, which I have right here. The Muscle XL, get this, 7 foot 9 Heavy, 1 to 5 ounce lures is what this thing is capable of throwing y'all so it's almost an eight foot rod now now we're talking about big swim baits we're talking about a rigs and alabama rigs and uh, i would just get straight to the big swim baits but we're going to be throwing those very soon with this rod today i wanted to try something different and throw that a rig out big heavy bait we're going to show you how to set it up too we got to go buy one i just i never throw them literally never throw them i do hear that braid is uh the line you want to use when you throw them though so we're going to learn together today and i i'm just going to take out the anteris dc that we recently got. So this is like a quality on top of quality setup. I'm going to read you some specs about these Black Series rods, but essentially they're starting at $300, okay? $299. It's the highest quality Guggen Squad rod they have ever built. So let's break down the specs real quick. Guggen Squad Black Series rods are the flagship of Guggen Rods, built specifically for the diehard angler. And y'all know the Green Series and the Gold Series has now been expanded upon with these Black Series right here. These are built with the highest quality blanks and use premium components to meet the needs of most competitive anglers. These are the strongest, most sensitive, and best balanced rods that we have made yet. We have also added three glass composite rods that will provide more consistent hookups when throwing reaction style Baits. 11 total Black Series rods will be available, so this is much more than the rods we've been used to, accustomed to. So 7 casting and 4 spinning. Price starting at $299. The blanks are high carbon rod blanks with nanotech resin for stronger, more sensitive, and lighter blanks. The guides, Fuji stainless steel guides with phase light inserts. They almost feel like wax, like the line's just going to glide through these guides very easily, so the casting is going to be fantastic. Ultimate castability and durability. So durability is important. I've gone through quite a few cheaper rods. Rods, you know, 40, 50, 80 dollar, even the 100 plus dollar range actually, rods where the inserts pop out and then they kind of like slide around on the line until you end up cutting it off and taking out your insert and then that can affect your line too because it's if, if you're if your inserts fall out, then your line's gonna get frayed up and you're not gonna be able to catch those fish as well. The handles, custom molded carbon fiber handle with no slip coating for ultimate sensitivity and comfort. And that's something I've noticed, is this right here, just really sticky. So when you're holding onto that bad boy, you've got full control and you can really tell the feedback, what's coming from the bottom. Some of them have more of a slick material, almost like a matte finish on other rods, or even like the, uh, the muscle rod. It's almost a little bit more slick compared to this no slip coating. It's a, it's a great feel. I really like it, but we're going to test it out on the water here momentarily. And you probably got one of the best warranties at three years for replacement. So if you do end up snapping one of these rods or it's damaged in shipping, get it taken care of. So rods are expected to ship in the month of November. Expected ship dates are determined by which order your pre-order falls within. So if you want to get one of these or you're even on the fence, I would place the pre-order now because it also says for cancellations, you may cancel the Black Series rod order anytime before it ships by contacting support at uh, shopcarls.com. Com. So what that means is if you place the order and you decide next month you don't want it or any time before November essentially, right, uh, then you can just cancel the order and forfeit your place in line essentially to somebody who does want it and would love to have one in November. So for me, I already know this is going to be my new favorite rod right here, y'all. This is going to be almost my go-to rod, uh, as funny as that may sound because you know we love throwing the big swim baits. But up until now, I've needed a rod from another manufacturer to handle baits up to five ounces and that is a big, big 
bait, okay? So this thing is qualified to throw the biggest stuff out there and it's so light, 145 grams. I mean, it feels feather light in the hand. Can't wait to get out to the water and fish it. Reels on, just got the line through the guides. It's time to go grab an A-rig, y'all. I just got a pretty ugly comment on the last video about how my hat was too big. So today I'm wearing a smaller one for you guys. Cool, so stepping inside, they got basically one option. These are kind of a little smaller. Thinking about going with the biggest since we got the beefy setup. So looks like it's 13 bucks here. Grab that bad boy, toss some four inch swim baits on there, but still gonna need some jig heads. Kind of just trying to find the best value here, like eighth ounce or quarter ounce. These are like six bucks for a three pack. Over here, you got some different branded ones. You're getting a four pack for like 750. I'm probably gonna have to get two boxes essentially regardless. So if we compare the options here, I'm, I'm leaning towards these guys. They've got essentially a double bait keeper, like one on the top and the bottom. If you look at these, it's just got that one piece that extends out to keep your plastic on on the bottom. So these should theoretically hold the swim baits in place better. It's just, do I need eighth ounce or do I want to go a quarter ounce? And y'all probably know better than me. Same as I don't really fish the umbrellas. So uh, what would you go with? Again, this is the larger size, maybe some quarters, some eighths. I think I'm just going to grab the eighths and see if it works out. And if not, I guess we're gonna have to make a return trip to the store here in a couple hours. Eight ounce jig heads is what we went with. I figured quarter ounce would probably be great if I was like fishing off the boat and I needed to get a little deeper, but I'm gonna be fishing off the bank. So I, ideally I don't want it sinking too quickly as I'm creeping it up shallow. And I assume I'll get a lot of these bites up in the shallows. And so I went with eight ounce. We're gonna see how that plays out. There's gonna be five of them total, I believe on here. And so, you know, you're looking at near an ounce just with the jig heads. Plus you're gonna have the weight of the swim baits, plus you're gonna have the umbrella itself. Uh, probably a one and a half to two ounce bait by the end of it potentially. So that'll definitely be lightweight for this rod today. Make sure you subscribe if you're looking for some big heavy swim baits as we're gonna be throwing that very soon on this rod as well. This is all I got, I got one setup. So if I lose it, I guess we gotta go back and buy more. I just don't wanna break the bank. Every one of these is 30 bucks. So you know, you go through a few of them, bam, $100 down the drain. And I gotta try and like pick up Chipotle on the way home or something, y'all. I got, I got money to spend, I can't be going broke <laughs> over an A-rig. Not even a little breeze out today, man. This is insane. I wonder how long it's gonna take the GoPro to overheat today. Okay. So you don't even have to like bend this one out, I guess. I don't know if you need to bend it out even more, but I think I'm just gonna leave it, to be honest. I had heard even next to like a 90 degree angle is sometimes kind of what you want. Also that center arm is a little bit longer. Uh, you may even put like a bigger swim bait on that one. So we've got some various sizes here. Got some 3 8 inch, that's magic shad color, 3.3 inch. Uh, same color, 3.3 inch. We've got some all white 3.3 inchers. I might just, I've got a whole case of the 3.3 inch green gizzard shad. So it's a little white on the bottom with the natural green on top. I think that's what I'm gonna roll with actually to uh, start this thing off. Jig heads, extra strong they say. That's what we need. So if that's right side up, I kind of want that jig head to be right side up if possible. I don't know if there's a way to attach these incorrectly, but we're about to see. So I'm gonna open up this clasp. Oh, okay, they just, they swivel and do a whole 360. So that's gonna be fine because the weight will be on the bottom. So yeah, they swivel. Doesn't really matter the orientation. Just figured that out. Okay, I need to crack into the second case here. Okay, this is gonna be like the biggest Palomar knot loop I've ever tied right here. There we go, this thing is set up. Oh boy, this is gonna be a pain in the butt to fish, isn't it? Interesting. Ooh, feels good with this rod, holy smokes. All we got is swim baits and extra hooks in here. First thing I'm doing is uh, switching the braking system inside of the Antares. So I'm going over to the X setting, which I believe is for like extra heavy lures. You feel the grass? That's not good for me. I got exposed hooks, man. First cast, I'm thumbing it pretty good just because I want to make sure I don't get a bird's nest right off the bat. Wow, look at that thing in the water, bro. <laughs> I hear they hit this thing hard too. I'm curious. I'm holding the rod tip up just because I don't want this thing diving too low. Ideally, I'd probably have the rod tip right down at the water's edge. Oh, <gasps> three pounder, bro, just looked at it. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he didn't eat it though. He's hiding in the shade right here. I'm not gonna get him to approach it anymore. He's gonna be over it, but you might wanna throw the worm right here. Watch him, he's gonna come out from the left. He's gonna come out from the left and chase it right to the bank. We just have those St. Croix swim bait rods. They're good to about four ounces. And then I have some Australian branded one that I got from a buddy and it's rated to like eight or eight or more. Ooh, is that that one that was swimming after it? What'd you throw, the worm? Yep. He got him. Nice, bro. That's not helping my confidence in the A-rig right now. <laughs> All right, I almost got a bird's nest on that last one. It's just such an awkwardly weighted rig. 
So I got to crank these brakes up a little bit because uh, this is the Antares DC. So I'm going like max with it. Screw it. No thumb, max brakes. What happens? That's much better. Didn't even think about nesting up. Perfect. I'm going to swim it quick because I got grass on that last cast. Exposed hooks. This thing just looks, I mean, I don't, I don't know how you can beat this. How do I never fish these? Bro, this bass. is sexy as Right? The like dry carbon, the, the flat. I'm all mm. about it, dude. Mega bass is doing those arms legger or whatever. And yes. they're like $1,200. Yes. I know a dude in Oklahoma has like 10 of them. Yep. I like this too. Ooh, it's like non like it's grip. like non uh slip. So like underneath. Dude, on the on the gold is, rods, they're like, like matte and they're slippery. Right here this shit. oh bro, I'm excited. <laughs> I should probably just cast it bomb it and like bring them in from the depths, but I feel like I'm gonna cast it super far and some bullshit like this is gonna happen where it like hooks itself. It's like I don't even want to waste a big cast. Look, this just crooked again. It was acting so good for the first hour. A rig problems. I think so. It was the only one they had there. On, only one they had. To be honest, I thought they were gonna have way more options yeah they had only one i would have grabbed anything i didn't care it's like guaranteed that one out of the five baits is going to act up <laughs> gosh dang it either the tail gets hooked or your line gets caught on the bait itself or you catch grass there's like so many things that can go wrong with the a-rig i see why i never throw it gosh dang man i just gotta throw this out there and let it sink <laughs> no <laughs> hey thanks y'all all right straight got him one he's throwing uh Straight met up with this man and he's throwing the shad swim jig and he just got him one. Heck yes. I just hopped over to a different pond from where Jordan's at. Holy bullfrog. Are they staying down low you feel like or no? We're coming off the bottom. Oh man, I might try the same thing, but I just feel like uh, this thing's gonna get snagged. I'm gonna straight up let it hit the bottom and I'm just gonna reel it, reel it slow. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> I actually got a bite. That hasn't happened yet. No, no, it wasn't you. It just didn't commit a short struck like you were saying. I just popped it off the bottom a little bit and then I reeled so slow. That was my first hit. Got him. <gasps> my first bass ever on an A-ring. Yes, let's go. Come on, son. Look at that thing. I mean, that's a football. Come on, boy. Let's, let's go. go. Bring it home. Come on, straight. <laughs> that's why you get the muscle XL, baby, because you never know when the big fish might hit. Not yes stinker right there dude jeez this is the best marketing i think you can's ever had right here dude <laughs> this is literally like you couldn't ask for anything more than a fish this size on an a-rig out of a pond that just proves it can be done i figured it out bro i know what they're up to we're, we're fitting to catch a, a handful you don't understand we've been at this for hours i haven't caught nothing oh my gosh so catching one this size gets me hyped oh i don't think we're gonna be able to top that today but bottom close the spool line tight raise the rod tip lower it as i start reeling that's exactly the tactic and, and the slower the better really that's when i've been getting the hits is, is when it's really slow and it came back clean that time that's crazy because i know there's grass in this spot so i think all the hooks are just doing a good job of staying upright um yeah Got him. <laughs> low and slow right up on the bank nothing but little ones so far but that's the second one so i'm getting more confidence and fishing this thing low and slow. Got him. There we go, that one's got some size, I think. A little bit bigger. That was the first time I uh, dropped it to the floor and just kind of creeped it back slowly since being on this side. So, there we go, five pounder. <laughs> I thought that one was like definitely bigger. Oh no, it's not a tree or a fish. It's a turtle on the A-rig. Not what I was intending. There you are. Now you can go. Go on, bud. See ya. There he is. Got him. Come on. Towards sunset. Another one on the A-rig, let's go. How are all these fish so small? Heck yes. Starting to fire up. Got like two more casts. I'm just gonna send it by the tree. Oh. Nope, definitely tree branch. I think we lost the A-rig, y'all. Can you even see? Let me check the GoPro. Oh, no. Well, basically, I cast it out there and there's a tree. I let it fall. I was thinking I was gonna be a genius. I felt a double tap, but it was definitely just this thing like getting worked into the branches. 
definitely lost the a rig just now so i mean it is like so snagged so what i'm gonna do to not damage the bait caster or the rod i'm not gonna try and like yank it back with the rod and snap anything i'm not gonna try and like pull it against the drag on the bait caster i'm gonna take my pliers come on in here straight check this out dude this is this is the real deal wrap it around the pliers you don't want to wrap it around your hand in this case because you see i already tried that and that's just kind of like the first attempt and you can see i kind of got like that braid will just dig into your hand and you will not be a happy camper. So now that I've got it wrapped in the pliers, I can just pull back on the pliers, okay? And those are gonna take all the force, and this A-rig is just gonna snap off here any second. Keeping the rod straight so we don't break it, and there we go, we're free. It does feel like I've got a little weight on there, so I might have the A-rig still. I think I've got it, either that or I've got, it would make no sense if I had a branch without the A-rig, so I definitely still have the A-rig. Maybe just to unhook his bent out or something. So we're gonna end this evening's sesh with a little tip on how to get your bait back, you can see that jig head was just lodged into the tree, hook bent out, ain't no thing. You know, we got some more in the truck. So we'll catch y'all as we resume this, trying to catch a giant on the old A-Rig and the new Black Series ride here, maybe tomorrow. Great appreciation behind the camera, bro. Give me that juicy cast. Ooh, son.